morning everybody we're right here in Casson Minnesota quick trip I have to drop off this last header on on my trailer just down the road over there I'm gonna go drop that off with them I'll have an empty step deck triaxle I'm gonna drag that trailer about an hour and 15 minutes from here to a town called New Prague Minnesota I have a load there waiting for me that's taking me back up to Manitoba so we're not getting any closer sitting here, let's get going.
my load behind me is a big giant cylinder. It was a pretty big, a pretty big place where I went there to load up and a lot of stuff going on. So I didn't show them putting it on the trailer or anything, but they, they used like this mobile crane. I can try to explain it to you the best I can. It was a mobile crane. So it had four tires and then it went straight up. It was like a square, right? If the, if the ground was the bottom half of the square. This guy's got his high beams on in traffic. Probably doesn't realize it. It's daytime, doesn't matter that much. Hey, turn your high beams off, bud. Playing on my pet peeves here. But uh, yeah, so they would drive right over my trailer with this crane that could drive around the yard. They would drive on top of the, uh, right over the tank, lift it up, and then the whole thing would move to my truck. I didn't have to back underneath this crane. This crane drove over top of me. And then it set it down on the trailer and then I chained it down. Eight chains total, four on the front, four on the back. Flagged it and tagged it. And now we are, uh, we are on the run. I hear that there might be some snow coming, but if we hurry, or at least be diligent, we can beat it. Because if it starts snowing too badly, I can't keep going. This load is only about eight foot six wide like eight and a half feet and my trailer deck is eight feet wide already so i'm barely barely hanging over the edges barely if i didn't flag it you probably wouldn't even know it was oversized but you know rules are rules at this at this uh width you really only have to flag it and there's not much you know the wider you go the more things you got to you know, pay attention to different permits, you know. We're going up through Minneapolis right now, and I'm going to be avoiding the snow that's in North Dakota, and going up US 59 up through Minnesota, sort of in the bush, so it's more sheltered. And then we'll meet up with, uh, meet up at the Canadian border there and get this thing delivered tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. I'm in Alexandria, Minnesota. Ah, oh, this took is still all full of sweat. No, thank you. I have a spare. Somewhere. Somewhere is my spare. There's my spare. Right on. Okay. I have to pick up some paperwork here. Because some of my border paperwork was uh, at the office. I'm not at the office and I need it for the border. So what they did was they faxed it here to the Flying J, and then I can go inside here and pick them up. I, th I think they charge something like a dollar per page or something ridiculous like that. I'm gonna grab a, use the bathroom, everything. I don't wanna stop again. I gotta get as far as I can today yet. Hoping to get all the way back up into Manitoba. But we gotta hurry. We're running out of hours. There's my load. Four chains up front. We've got this, they call a saddle. Both ends at the front and back. The triaxle back here holding up the weight. It's not too wide, eh? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. But I got these little sticks that poke out here with lights. Good to go in Minnesota with those. Carlos. Carlos, or is that a G? Is that a G? I was gonna say Carlos, not Carlos, but I think that was Carlos, not Carlos. Carlos, that way. Maybe Carlos. Oh no, no, go check it out, find out for yourself. 
Can't read your sign, bud. Your C looks like a G. I'm gonna stop ahead, or is it a head stop? Oh, Carlos, see, this has a C. Carlos, that way. If you're wondering, there is no such thing as Carlos, you silly, silly people. There's no Carlos. Stop all the way, left, right, up, down. Okay, so I was here before that pickup. So now that Ford goes, okay, fine, you're gonna go, then I'm gonna go. I was here before both of you, Fords. I was first. Not very nice. But he's out of my hair, so I don't really care. Whatever. It worked out, didn't it? But the rules are the rules. First to the stop sign gets to go. That's just a fact of life, though, when you drive a truck. The rules get bent a lot around us because nobody wants to be behind us. So they'll bend the rules to try and cut in front of us. Beautiful property over here, wow. Oh, I love Northern Minnesota. Just beautiful properties here. I don't know if this is considered Northern yet or it's probably more like Central. We're right close to Alexandria, so I mean, it's probably central Minnesota, right? What do I know? I'm just a paid tourist. Just trucking on through, don't mind me. Man, I hope I got that audio right. It's so hard. It's so hard to get the audio right for some reason. Like, I use headphones while editing, obviously. It can get a much better feel for the sound. 
But then when I listen to it through the speakers of like a TV or the computer, it seems a little different. Like uh, the vlog I released a couple of days ago, the music in my headphones sounded great. It wasn't too loud. I don't like the music to be too loud and overpowering, right? So I always tune it back so that it's not full blast. It sort of blends in with the rest of the sounds. But then the vlog I released, I think it was 2745. I released, and the audio was barely audible after I uploaded it on uh, one of the driving footage scenes. I couldn't figure it out. So it's hard. I don't know, let me know what the balance was like. If the music needs to be louder or quieter or if it was just right. Ah, I've been doing this like <laughs> 12 years. Ah, still figuring things out all the time. But I made it to St. Agath anyways. I've been here for a little while already. Sun's gone down. I'm in a nice corner spot. No neighbors over here. No immediate neighbors over here so far. Hopefully it stays that way. So I'm right in the corner. I'm hoping that this is a good spot. Lots of open spots available. I hope that no one's gonna try to park right beside me. And if they do, I hope they know what they're doing. We made it all the way up here and uh, I'm about an hour away from my delivery. I'm gonna be there at 10.30 a.m. tomorrow. So I gotta leave here by nine. So that I get there well ahead of 10.30. Leave here at nine and uh, after that, I don't know if there's a plan on me. I might be going home. Things are really starting to slow down uh, because very soon I've got one more week of work left after this actually. Uh, I'm taking one more trip to Ontario and we're gonna be doing an open house. By now you've probably heard about it already because uh, I'll probably jump the gun and sort of uh, jump to future Josh to let you guys know because I'd love to meet you guys there. I'm gonna be at a, at a Keystone open house, a recruiting event in Waterloo, Ontario on Wednesday, March 4th. No, not 4th, March. It's not February anymore, I need to build off. Wednesday, March 8th, 2023. Gonna be in Waterloo, Ontario at our terminal there. We're doing a recruiting open house event. I'm gonna be sharing more about it on my social media. By now, like I said, you've probably heard about it. And then uh, I'm gonna head back. And after that, Old Blue is going into the shop. It's gonna get some work done to it that's needed to get done for a little while. Uh, gonna get some bushings replaced on the stabilizer arm underneath my sleeper. Gonna get the air ride airbags uh, replaced under my sleeper. Uh, they're getting old. Gonna get a full service done. What else is there? There's a couple other things I wanted to do. I'm gonna check out the price of new stack extensions. I'd like to have stacks that are flat top, 13 foot six, not these little stubbies I got on here now. I don't like those little short short stacks. Uh, I bought the truck like that. And then it, it doesn't look bad, but I want longer stacks. I want 13 six. I'm gonna see what the price of the extensions are. I'm not gonna do the full exhaust uh, for another year or two yet. I will eventually do a full exhaust system. Uh, or at least a full like, pipe, like, eight inch pipe all the way down and under. But those are about $4,000. And uh, I have a baby coming, so I have other things to uh, focus on, focus my money on. So we'll see what we can all get done. A few things that Old Blue needs, and then we're gonna give her a good bath and take her to the shop and then get it, uh, or gonna completely detail it on the inside, pull everything out of here, detail everything reorganize everything, get it completely nice and brand, like looking brand new. And then we're gonna park it in the shop and it's gonna sit there for several weeks. And I'm gonna go home and uh, Britt and I are going to learn how to take care of a baby. <laughs> well, she's gonna be a natural at this. She's gonna be, I always was the baby of the family, so I've got a lot to learn. Thanks for joining me today. We're gonna deliver this tomorrow and probably head home. Maybe we'll head out on another short trip, I don't know. Join me tomorrow to find out. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, click the little bell so that you don't miss it when my next video goes live. I usually release them around supper time, central time, like here in North America, which is around like 6 p.m. central time, yeah, around there. So hit that notification so you get uh, notified when it goes live. Thanks for watching everybody. I'm tired, as you can tell, I'm just babbling again. Typical end of day, end of vlog, Josh. Take care. We'll see you later.